We're back to uh, the quarry. We're going to be continuing this game. Longer spooky season. I want to finish it. I want to finish the quarry. The uh, game looks like actually getting really interesting, so I want to know what's going to happen. <clears throat> well, at least in the route I'm picking, you know? So I'm going to. Yeah, chapter 5 is where we left off. Yes. I don't think we've already seen this part, so we just let it kind of play. <clears throat> hey, I couldn't find anything to eat. The kitchen's pretty cleaned out. Oh shoot, I left my bag. I, I brought you this. That was... I don't even know what happened. It was all just a blur. How are you feeling? He would feel uh, care about her more. I'm. Uh, well, I, I, I'm just happy. You're okay. Are you okay? I'm sorry. I, I just asked you that. I... It's okay. All right, they're off to find a radio or something. What's with the, um, the... Oh, uh, we found another in Mr. H's office, so... Just in case. And what happened to the lights? Not sure. Any better? I'm doing okay. Kinda. Wait, are they going to the radio hut? <sighs> Phone's dead. They're gonna try to send out an SOS or something. We're holding on the fort. Did anybody else hear that? Shh. <clears throat> oh, hell. You said Dylan and Ryan already left. Stay here. I'll check it out. We'll be fine. Just be careful. Stay alert. It's empty, ain't it? Is that shit freezing? cut his finger off.
No sign of them. When you find them, blood them. And keep me posted, Bobby. Oh, I mean, Bobby. <coughs> So this may not be like the best time per se, but like what? Yeah, so like I was just, you know, thinking about like the start of summer and when we first met and the start of camp and well, like now that summer's over and you know, is that like the last time we're gonna see each other, you know? Oh, sorry, Nick, what what are you saying? Don't worry about Caitlin, she's tough. I know. I'm sorry, that Nick. I'm just distracted. Let's just get through the night, okay? Maybe I was misreading the situation back there, but I kind of felt like a little bit more was going to happen. Well, do you want a little bit more to happen? Duh, are you dumb? Hey. Sorry. I just mean... Of course I wanted it to happen. I just... Didn't know if you did too. That... Seems like such a long time ago now. <laughs> you did want it to happen though. Uh, um... I... You can tell <clears throat> me. Oh. Yeah, I... I guess. Huh. Just saying that because I'm hurt. Nick. What is going on out there, Caitlin? We have to hide. We have to hide. It's okay, I got this. Is any of the leg the part that's fucked up if I remember correctly? Oh my god. What happened? Jesus, where's the gun? We gotta get out. No, we have to hide. Yeah, hide. Let's go hide. Wait. I think we should go south. You know, at least there isn't a difficulty slide in the game. <clears throat> that, is, that is nice. So, the radio hut has like an actual radio? I thought it was just like, for your morning announcements. Oh yeah, yeah, it used to be more of a actual radio station actually. Um, uh, it, you know, I mean, it is still technically, but nobody brings their radio to camp anymore. Yeah. <coughs> it's weird actually that there used to be kids with their radio and their portable CD player and everything and you know, nowadays everything we need is on the phone, but Mr. Hackett takes it on the first day at camp so that we're not distracted by technology. Um, technology it giveth and it taketh. So is is that something like 
that you want to go <clears throat> to? Camp radio? No, like uh, DJing or music. Oh, um, yeah, I mean, I like music, but I think I want to major in um, quantum physics. Sorry, there's no background playing with stuff. Wait, what? <sighs> yeah. Uh, you don't really seem like a science guy. Oh, yeah, I mean, you know, not, not here. Um... I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so completely fascinated by this. What do you mean by not here? Not here at camp. I do that at home, and then here, I, um... You're a wise, wise, cracking smartass? <laughs> uh, that's a little harsh, but... Uh... No? Okay, so maybe I was a little nervous when I arrived in an uncomfortable social situation, and I overcompensated a little bit, by making a bunch of jokes. You played into it. Yeah, I mean, people kind of enjoyed <clears throat> the blasé Dylan. Uh, and do, do you enjoy the blasé Dylan? <laughs> Not yet, yeah, like, you know, whatever, man, it's pretty cool. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like Dylan Dylan. Well, it's nice to meet you, Dylan Dylan. I'm Ryan Ryan. Well, actually, I'm, let's get the fuck out of here, Ryan. Yeah, I like him. He's That makes a lot of sense. I don't like that. Where the fuck did he go? I shit you not, I love areas. What's up, Berkham? Okay. I don't know if I'm going the right way or not. Give me a flashlight. This is just a bad idea walking around in the dark. Oh, wait. No, this is... Yeah, so that's where we were. I walked past it. Fucking walk past it. <clears throat> like, what is it around this time? Two, three o'clock in the morning? Why the fuck can't you walk around with a flashlight? I do keep going this way. Oh, there we go. Oh. Something like that could really take your hands off. What is this doing at a kid's summer camp? I don't know, man. That's... It wasn't here over the summer. I mean, if it was, then... We would have noticed that, right? Whatever it was trying to catch, you can't now. There we go now.
going to stay behind him because that, uh, line, the wrap of that end of the shotgun can actually let me see where he is. Oh hell. Yeah, move him in. Come on. Oh, I think we gave the wrong one, because that's a double barrel. All good? All good? Oh, this place is kind of a dump, huh? Okay, when I was a camper here, it was barely working. It hadn't been used for years, and it took me a really long time, actually, to get this place cleaned up and looking the way it is. So, I'm sorry if it's not up to your standards, but I've been putting in a lot of TLC, okay? Okay. okay. Let me get this set up. All right. Anything over here we can use? The power tools? No. Um, that's... Mr. H wanted more storage, so it's kind of how he lets me keep the station going. <laughs> gotcha. So, uh, how far does it go? Oh, um, well, it was designed just to broadcast to the PAs around camp for announcements and to, you know, portable radios and whatever, so I think the range is about a mile. How do you even know all this stuff? Uh, I just kind of picked it up. Hmm. The tech, technical stuff has always been a little uh, hard for me to get a handle on. Well, if you like, I could show you the ropes. Like a class? Yeah, it's easy. Like climbing. Sign me up, teach. Anyways, this thing's going to need a bit of a power up. Um, but that's where this comes in. Dust magnet. It's supposed to be a signal booster. It's kind of janky looking, but it's worth giving a shot. So, we can actually talk to people with this thing? Yeah, well, it's not a two-way radio, so, um, you know, we can talk, uh, but then the best we can do is switch it over to the receiver <clears throat> and see if anyone broadcasts anything back, which is unlikely, but... Well, it, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Yeah. So, what should I say? Uh, just, like, make it sound urgent. Okay. Hello, how's it going out there? This is, uh, w uh we need help. This is, uh, we are counselors at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp, and there's been a horrible accident, attack, some stuff bad here. We need your help. Uh, there is a swarm of bears, and they are everywhere, and there's these hunters, too, and they seem to be shooting at the bears, but also at us, um, which is not good, and a few of our friends are hurt, and um, we are in desperate need of help, so please, I mean, there's vicious 
bears and uh, we don't know what to do so please uh, come help us SOS uh, this is a, an emergency S save our ship come on down please help us yeah I do good is that swarm of bears <laughs> yeah heard of bears yeah I've heard of bears but... <laughs> oh my god all right, I, I guess I should just like switch this over to the receiver and see if we get anything yeah, back. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna keep an eye out while you do all this techie stuff. Okay, yeah, sure. Oh, hell. Check it. I got a ping on the radio, but no response. I'm gonna head to the... Wait, did he, did he say lodge? I don't know, hold on. Two males in the radio shack near the cabins. Another couple unaccounted for. Copy that. Out. Out. Holy shit, they're talking about us. Fuck, 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 what the fuck? How? Because we just told them on the fucking radio. Fuck. They know where we are, man. We can't stay here. Shit, shit, fuck. Hey, hey, shit. Let's, let, let's stay calm, okay? Um, let's, let's go find Caitlin and everybody, okay? Okay, yeah. aggressive about that. I, I, I wasn't sure, man. Fuck, what the fuck was that? I have no idea. Can we use the broken bot? Can we use the bottles? Could we just broke that stuff? Two shots. What was that? What is that? Fuck. What? Caitlin, Abby, and Nick, they're coming up the path. Oh, shit. They're coming toward us. We, we, we gotta warn them. Um, what about the PA? Up top? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, we can um, tell them to hide or something. Yeah. Uh... Oh, fuck, no. Oh, shit. Uh, the... uh, hold the button. Uh, Caitlin, get into a building now. Do not come up here. There's an animal outside the radio hut. Get, in, uh, get into a cabin now. Go! Go! Oh, fuck, dude. They're gone. Use the fucking bottles. <clears throat> what now? Yeah, fuck it. We gotta kill it. We gotta kill it. It's not a normal animal, man. I don't think a gun's gonna cut it. Of course. 
course it is. Why wouldn't it be? I don't know, man. I just don't think it's a good idea to go running out guns blazing against some random ass super animal. Well, what the hell else can we do? Well, if it's got hearing like a like a dog, maybe. Uh, I mean, we could we could play a really high pitched feedback loop and crank it to the max. And uh, I mean, it would hurt like hell, but. Okay, fine. Let's do it. Feedback thing. Alright. Okay. Come on, Dylan. Let's do this. Um... Come on. It's almost... Hey, Dylan, just take a breath. I'm sure you can figure it out. Okay, yeah, right. There's something missing. I do. What's missing? Oh, crap. I pulled the wire. Fix it. I'll cover you. Now, go quickly. Get it on it. Plug it, plug it into the thing. Uh, Keep pressure on it. Uh. Hey, you see a fucking sporting out. What do I do? What do I do? The button, the button. We blew the speaker. Yeah, he's running away. Did the trick. Uh, nice work, Dylan. <laughs> oh, right. oh, fuck my hand. Right, right. Okay. Uh, just hold on. Why did you do that? You told me to. Oh, that was a bad idea. Once you realize it was a bad idea, but I mean, he had no other choice, and I'm pretty sure if he used the shotgun, I would have just killed him. And Is wasted a bullet. Or shell. I think we're okay for now. We ran into one of those hunter guys. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, chase us out of the lodge. I think we lost him on the way up here. You get a message out? I think so. Great. Yeah, Dylan lost his hand. <laughs> What was going on at... Oh my god! Dylan, what happened? Oh, um... I'm okay. I, I, I mean... I'm not, um... But it's, it doesn't... doesn't hurt. Okay, you're in shock. Holy fucking shit! Uh... Did that... thing do this? No. Well, sort of. It, it... Caitlin, where's your gun? I lost it. One of the friendly locals wanted to say hi. 
fuck? Did she shoot at us? Who's there? Who was she? Should we follow her? Dylan, what is that? <gasps> oh my god! <gasps> that fucking the other other one that was swimming in the in the lake. I can't remember her name. <clears throat> okay, wait. I think I can just. Say her name. Yeah, the pool house, that's where uh, they were. So where is Jacob? And... I don't know her name. I fucking forgot. Chapter. Oh, you're back. Looks like that's one less vermin in the world. Let's take a look once more. Here we have the hermit. With the hermit comes isolation, loneliness, but reflection, too. Perhaps, given some thought, the hermit who gives chase can guide you to safety. But that all depends on your actions, not his. I want to show you more. Would that be all right? Definitely. There's a Jacob? I think that's Jacob. We spend so much time looking toward the future. It's easy to forget that the past holds secrets too. Worth remembering that. So it's goodbye again. I'll be here. I'll wait for you. I mean, I'll be afraid it's going to be like 98% cutscene. We go complete chapter 5. And then, like, only 30 minutes more this one to play. Jesus <clears throat> Christ. Oh, jeez! Fuck! Oh, man. God, this night sucks ass. It was Emma. Oh, hell. Emma, is that you? Alright, so I kinda gotta pay attention because there are bear traps around here. I think I can look at the tell me what time it is. Find Emma. Okay, no, nothing about camp. Alright. Oh, what's this? Yeesh. Huh. I'm gonna fall off this. Wow.
Well, that bodes ill. Fucking hell. I... Okay. <clears throat> oh, a camera. What, what do I need a camera for? Oh, memory card? Okay. Hmm. Maybe there's something on here. Jesus, put that shit in his fucking underwear. I get for the immersion, it's supposed to be dark, but I genuinely cannot see shit. Oh, get that. <clears throat> see if I can't up the gamma a little bit. Crazy how that made a fucking difference. Okay, so what I'm gonna do then... Drop it down where it's still a little dark. this. So, last we knew, Emma went to the lighthouse, so we gotta make our way over there. Okay. I'm, I'm not doing this, because I don't want to be circling. Jesus Christ! Oh. oh my God, no way. Am I glad to see you? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! Oh. You left me back there, you asshole! Oh, God, Emma, come on! Oh. Oh. What the fuck is going on? Look, I don't know, okay? Some, like, bear attacked Nick and Abby back there. Yeah! Me too, but it definitely was not a bear. What? Who? When? Why? Sorry, I'm just... I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, barely. I mean, the thing that attacked me at the treehouse was like... What? It was like what, Emma? Like, out of a horror movie. Okay, um... Well, it, it was probably just like a, a bear trying to defend itself. Oh, don't bear. be a dick. You, you know it wasn't a fucking bear. No, you're right. You're right. And now we have these fucking the, the hunters running all over the place. So that's a fun new wrinkle. What? Look, don't ask. Okay, we've got to get out of these woods. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> 
You know, Jacob, you don't have to be a dick about literally everything. I mean, the man got... He hey, I'm trying to keep us alive. I've been doing pretty good by myself. What? I don't need you to rescue me. I'm not going to suddenly fall in love with you just because you're my knight in shining armor. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if you set this all up. Oh my god, what? Shh. Run! Quick time event, I'm literally stuck in a bear trap if I fuck this up, probably. No, no quick time? Wait, where's the quick time? My hat? Damn, you are ugly. God. Damn. Jacob! Sorry! Oh, you're in the water. You're fine. He's <laughs> been trying to save everybody. <laughs> okay, run. I've been picking hide a lot. Shit open, you can at least save your foot. Oh, fuck! Ah! 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 Shit! Ah! 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 Look, you could. Ow! Is she like one of those hunter dudes? I don't think so. Should we do something? What can we do? She's dead. I mean, with the body. <sighs> That's Kaylee Hackett. Mr. H's daughter? I thought she went home with her brother. Kaylee. Yeah. I thought so too. Oh man. Poor Kaylee. Nick. You smell so good. Oh shit. You alright there, bud? Maybe dial it back a bit, huh? Fuck off, Caitlin. No. Alright, we gotta kill him. Nick, what are you? I want to taste you. Hey. Come here. Ugh, Nick, what the hell? Ugh, get off. Ugh, watch out. I said get off. Let's get him in the pool house. Dry him off. Just 
Try to rest. I'm sorry. Ah! Quit moving ah. so much. It's pretty clean from what I could tell. I mean, it's not bleeding. But you need to see a doctor. <laughs> yeah, where's one here? <clears throat> Look, this is all I've got left in the nurse's station. Ooh, fun. You better hope uh, we find you some real help before they wear off. We need to be keeping a record of everything that happens. For the police. Yeah. Dead girl in the pool needs some explaining, huh? <sighs> Easy, man. I mean, like, photos. Whatever we can. I've got a funny feeling that the cops are not going to want to believe any of this crazy shit unless we've got some hard proof. From now on, if you got your phone and you see something, take a photo or a video or whatever. Yeah. You okay over there, Abby? Look, why don't you look around and see if you can find anything to help make Nick more comfortable? It is cleaned out. I wonder where Caleb is. You know, they're surprisingly calm for seeing like a dead body. This place was so different like 12 hours ago. There's like nothing here that's useful. I'm gonna chop that up to be in a toilet. Here. That better? Thanks. Hey. Yo, something is not right with that boy. Dude is real sick. Did you see how he freaked out in the water? Yeah, he was like, uh... He was like a fish out of water. Right? Uh, sure. You know, something was weird when I tried to clean his wounds, too. At the lodge. What do you mean? Well, all of his clothes were bloody, but I couldn't find where he was bit. Or scratched, or whatever. He just kept moving around, like he didn't want me to see how badly he was hurt. Huh. Hmm, rabies? He's not frothing in the mouth. <sighs> I think Abby would beg to differ. Point. Yeah, isn't aquaphobia a symptom of rabies? Hydrophobia, yeah. But I think it's more about a fear of drinking, not just getting wet. This was like... Like my cat in the bathtub. <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Can I ask you something? Of course. Do you like me? Nick. Please, just tell me. I've... Really enjoyed spending time with you this summer. It's such, oh, such, such, what? It's such a cop out answer. <sighs> Abby. Uh, what? I've got something to ask you. Uh, yeah. Okay. Why don't you like me, Abby? Hmm. 
Nick, I do like you. No, you don't. You don't like me at all, do you? What do you mean? Tell me the truth. I am telling you the truth. Oh, God. I sure know how to pick on. What? You're really very smart, aren't you? Poor stupid Abby. Stop. Easy pickings. Oh, he's been a fucking asshole. Oh, right off the blow. This isn't you. I mean, this this isn't you. I... Man, whoa, damn. Whoa, Abby. Bro got Abby, super strained. Okay? Holy shit. Yeah, I was starting to think the shotgun isn't going to be enough. Fuck around and find out, motherfucker. No. Pick up the shotgun. Get up. Pick up the fucking shotgun. <sighs> okay, so if I were a counselor at an off-season camp, partying around a bonfire, and it started to rain, and there were monsters. I would go to the lodge. Logically speaking. A staircase, a staircase. I sure have a hole in it, like where the back of the neck is. Crap, which way is it to the lodge? I'm gonna just keep going straight. Exactly sure which way I'm going, I just know I'm going somewhere. Hopefully eventually I make it to the lodge. Is that a dead end? Let's see what it does if I go up to it. 
Yeah, it's dead. It. Okay. There we go. I did go the right way. Before Pop is doing fast, that's it. Why did he cut it down? God damn. God damn these <laughs> fucking kids. Son, what? Hey, stop! Stop squirming! Give me the train. Is she bit, huh? How am I supposed to know? I don't know. Let me look at her. Nah. Get the fuck away from me! Oh! oh. oh. Very smart about that girl. They got guns. Safe. <clears throat> Abby, Ryan. She really going to try to leave without him. At least that's what it looks like. Oh. Okay, back to the pool house. I killed him. I killed him. You didn't kill him, you shot him. What's the difference? I mean, dead people don't usually jump out of windows and run into the forest. Exactly. Nick was... that was not Nick. And where the hell are Jacob and Emma? Don't you think we should have run into them again by now? Well, they're probably just boinking their brains out in some cabin somewhere. I don't know, man. Something fucked up is going on. The hunters, Chris running off, Nick. Kaylee. Oh, God. Kaylee. Oh, shit. Where the fuck is Chris Hackett? Who's there? I need your help. Please. Who are you? My name is Laura Kearney. So? So let me <laughs> in. It's not safe out here. Uh, yeah, there's a crazy woman with a gun killing people. I'm not killing people. Holy shit, you... Laura Kearney? You're Laura Kearney? Yeah? You were supposed to be working, uh, helping out in the nurse's office, right? And you never showed up? You and the guy, what's his name? Matt? Yes, oh, Matt. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Mr. Hackett said that you had changed your mind last minute. I, I think that we should, I think that we should listen to her inside.
Okay. I'm gonna open the door slowly. Just keep your hands up, okay? Okay. Here we are over. again. Just you and me. Why don't we take another look at what you've found? I did. These shots are getting Justice. shorter and shorter. An eye for an eye. Not exactly in some cases, but cause and effect. Actions and consequences. There's a balance to everything, and we all play a part in making sure the scales aren't tipped. Now tell me, would you like to delve deeper into one of many possible futures? Is that even a question anymore? Obviously, yeah. Off you go then. Top, top. One down, remember. Isn't that terribly exciting? Yeah, one from the dead. <laughs> 